Hi Taurus! Hi Taurus! Welcome to Soap Quest Synergy. I'm Spence. I'm Hope. And we are here to synergize, synergize with you for the month of July 2015. And we are very happy to be back and talking to you again. If you didn't get to see your June soap scope, we hope that you'll go back and review it. But it seems looking back that you guys have been working on some major life-changing things. Yeah. And uh, this month we see that you're still going through it. Last month it was more uh, logistical. You guys were really doing your budget and trying to plan on your security and take care of business. And I think that you probably did that very, very well. This month has a different feel. It does have a very different feel. It does. And, and we're, we're going to break it to you as gently as we can. <laughs> That's a good way to say it. <laughs> There's something you need to deal with. I think is probably the best way to put it. Mm -hmm. um, all the cards on the table are saying that there's something you need to deal with inside. We do have a keyword. We do. For we actually have two keywords. Sort of, yeah, because it's they kind of go together. Yeah. It's meditate and listen. And listen. Yeah, if you pray, pray, but don't just pray and put it up, but also receive it back. And if you meditate and you get your chakras in alignment, you really are going to hear from your own soul. And that's going to be really important for you this month because it's what's going to move you forward. It is. You really need to listen. It really is. Yeah. And then I think that you can end the month in a beautiful way because I'm just going to get, tell you now so that way you guys don't stop listening. You're like, I don't want to hear it. No, don't do that. Because no. your final karmic, I'm going to tell you now, is the star. Yeah. So no. Know that you can have hope and faith and trust that you are going in the direction you need to go and that it's going to be good, okay? Uh, but the astrology, the way that it is and what's on the table says that there is something you're going to be dealing with this month, okay? All right. It's a little bump in the road, that's all. Yeah. But it's things that you have to deal with. That's true. You know, We've got big energy this Everybody month. has to deal with stuff at some point in time. I mean, this just happens to be your month. It's, it's just one of those, one one of those, those months things. for you. We've got a couple. Oh, we'll get you through it. Full moons happening. Oh yeah, we got two full moons this month, big, which is big illumination. Yeah. Big awareness. Yeah, it's gonna shed light on some things. Mm -hmm. For Basically, sure. In the beginning, on the first, and then again on the thirty-first. So, you got a lot of light shining on this month. A lot of secrets, a lot of shadows being exposed. Yeah, it sheds light. Brings yeah. It brings things to the fore, which is great because that's really how we find wisdom. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's where we see we seek to find wisdom yeah. is in the things that we don't know and the things that we haven't learned yet, yeah. and so that's where we we kind of need to go there. Mm -hmm. But Venus and Jupiter is going to be really beautiful for you, and that's coming in at the first of the month too. Jupiter expands, and Venus is love and money, so you really have great energy in the beginning of the month to work on the things you're working on and to trudge along just like you guys do, and do very well. So I think you're day-to-day, work-a-day stuff is going to be like, fine. You're going you're gonna to do fine. You're going to get through your days just fine. You're gonna, you got the rhythm going, I think. Okay? But now, we want to discuss what's in here. Yeah. The deep stuff. All right, because there, your spread this month is, is kind of major. Okay? So we're going to talk about it. We did the Kabbalistic Tree of Life spread for you guys, like we always do. And we got the King of Wands as your issue for the month. Mm -hmm. And this is... Let me see him. This is Big Daddy spirit. This is spirit. Yeah, this is fire. Your spirit. Your yeah. spiritual self. What right. drives you? Yes. Yes, your deeper ambitions. Your deeper, the deep core. Mm -hmm. um, your private thought self. That, that spirit. Mm -hmm. It's your soul, man. It's your soul. This is the soul man. <laughs> he is the soul man. I like it. Yes. <laughs> He's totally the soul man. <laughs> And that's your issue for the month. So you're going to be dealing with your soul. And then the your soul. This is going to be soul growth. It is. And it's wands, so it's going to be fiery. Yeah. You care about it. You care about it. And the form that it takes this month is the Knight of Wands, which is how you're going to move through the month. You're going to move. You're going to have a movement. It's going to move you. Mm -hmm. It's going to move your soul. Yeah. It's going to rock your inner foundation a little bit. It is. So this is a self it's jolt you. Yeah. A self quest month for you. Yeah. Wisdom quest. This is. This is exactly what we're talking about. And Chiron last month, I'm sure, uh, made you deep, delve a little deeper into your emotional well being. And oh. now it's almost going. Oh, we need a candle. Oh. Now it's going even deeper. Mm -hmm. From 
from the mind and the heart of last month to the real soul stuff of this month because it you know the energies are sort of moving in that way so we know this because okay how you're feeling this month is justice and this is a trump card it's an excellent card it brings about what is meant to be that is right okay justice right will happen what is right will happen yes. which is so good okay and it's it's a positive thing for you so this is doing what's right knowing the right thing to do if there are legalities they can go in in your favor very well could be you know some documents or something that will be in your favor could be mm -hmm. it's gonna be it's it's gonna bring a little bit of balance right it is so you're feel you are trying to find your balance you're trying mm -hmm. to find your balance in your life and do the right thing and do the right thing right but I think you're burdened by something and we can see that on the table so I think throughout your month you're gonna feel like you really want to do the right thing yeah I think that that's what we're seeing yeah, that's what it says and your thoughts are about the two of swords so take a look at that she's on a she's on a high wire yeah she's she's got a couple of swords she's balancing and she's blindfolded this is a blockage basically and the reason that we know that this is a spiritual thing for you because you have a challenge this month right above it right above this card the block and it's the high priestess mm -hmm. and the high priestess knows the esoteric truth of us she holds the key to the secret of life it is our inner spirit it's in the spiraling DNA of who we are our yeah. birthright it's our soul and she knows the soul so if this is your challenge for the month this is about meditating, meditating and listening to your soul. You're going to hear from your soul. What it's saying. You're going to hear from your soul this month. Mm -hmm. So listen, because it's trying to tell you something. It's trying to tell you that whatever's bothering you is really deep and Very deep and troubling and troubling. And you you need to it hear that. It could be many things. It could be so many things. I can't even come up with anything. I know. Because it is so deep and personal. It's it, so it's personal. personal. It's very personal. This is very personal. It's like you get you need to go to your thinking spot. We were talking about this earlier when we yeah. were your board. Do you remember Winnie the Pooh? Who didn't love Winnie the Pooh? And yeah. We were aging ourselves a little bit, but come on. Go to your thinking spot. Even Pooh had bad days. Yeah. You know? And he so, had to learn. And he had to learn. So, so he would, he go, would to go to his thinking spot. You will do that this month anyway. You need to do that. You're okay from I'd say the what the twenty first. In the, by the end of the month, you're gonna need to go home and make your home your spa. Yeah. It's where you're gonna rejuvenate, and it's where you're gonna do some of this. You're gonna you're gonna listen inside and go inward. It is also our advice to you for the month. I'm going out of order, but I think it's the way it needs to be it told. Does. Yeah. Okay. You are going to go inside. Mm -hmm. The hermit holds the lantern of illumination. Exactly. The truth. The truth. Uh, the tr you may be holding a secret for somebody that is burdening you and weighing you down. Or maybe and someone has held a secret from you and you're trying to figure it exactly. out. Exactly. Something to do with illuminating the truth illuminating the truth yeah it's something to do with the truth that you're not dealing with dealing with yeah and it is affecting your soul and it's affecting you in your it day really day. is it's bothering you it's weighing on you heavily and we see that we see that you have this burden this ten of wands mm -hmm. that you're carrying and you're carrying it and maybe people are watching you work and you're working and doing a great job at work. We think that you've made so many good changes mm -hmm. as far as your career is concerned. Last month was so much about your security. I think that you got your ducks in a row. Yeah. I really do. Um, so I think you're carrying it just fine. I mm -hmm. think you're working your work a day just fine. And Virgo is going to make you do that. You're going to have the new moon come yeah. in, working your work a day. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be like, a pause it's just going to be like a regular rhythm that you're doing just fine and you're carrying your load mm -hmm. it's what people can't see what's under the surface that's behind the, the mask soul trouble that's kind of where the real burden lies mm -hmm. for you this month 
um, because we're seeing that this is your challenge. We're seeing that the High Priestess is trying to speak to you and give you truth, trying to help you listen to your intuition and your instincts. And you see the moon is above her. So it's casting the light on the situation. So this month is the month that you're going to deal with whatever this burden is. You're going to be dealing with it. The moon is shining the light on it. You have to make the decision to do it. This is a card of decision. But it's also being blocked. Whatever this is, it's burdening you to the point that it's blocking you. Blocking your soul growth. It's getting in your way. It is. Um, I had pulled a couple of uh, clarifying cards just to see what this message really was about because it was so much spirit, spiritual, spiritual. Yeah. And uh, when I asked what the what this block was, I got the judgment card. And this is really about, this could be a karmic lesson that you're trying to learn. It's definitely a time to change. Yeah. The judgment card is, is a, you know, that's a, tr a trump. And it's a major arcana card, and it is always a time of change. It's something major that changes. So you do need, you will need to make a decision. And in your month, looking at your month, Mercury is coming in um, around the 8th in yeah. Cancer. So you are really, are going to be talking to your family. That's good advice. You should. You should talk to your family. Get yeah. some really good um, advice. Advice. Yeah. Um, and then Venus and Saturn kind of square mid-month. This is probably going to be where you might have your hiccup, is mid-month. You're going to be working on... Yeah, because Uranus is going to square the sun, or the sun is going to square Uranus. Yeah. So that's going to be... Uh, could be a jolt. Could be the jolt. Yeah. Um, you need to go with the flow. Um, and then two days later, Venus is going to square Saturn. Saturn makes you work on something. Exactly, it makes you work. And Venus is really about love and money. It could be about your finances, but we don't feel that's the case. No. We think this is Maybe. personal. It's personal. Watch your tongue. Watch what you're saying. Your communication is with the people that you love in yeah. your relationships will be super important. But whatever's burdening you. Mid-month. Starting around the 8th through probably the 21st, you're going to need to watch how you communicate. Yeah. Um, you're going to be getting a surprise of some sort. And it's going to be... Um, jolting it's going to be a big one it could be it really could now that's not to say some of you won't get good surprises because you will and yeah. karma brings about justice one way or another so exactly you know if you have good karma coming to you that could be a good yes. surprise it could absolutely totally be exactly but if this is your challenge please listen to yourself listen yes. to your soul about what it is about how to deal with whatever changes in mm -hmm. in your in the middle it of your could month. be somebody's going to find out that they need to find a new job that's possible that's very much possible it really that could is be your jolting surprise like oh, i didn't plan on that yeah you know and that may be why you have to watch your tongue maybe you know yeah but whatever's blocking you take the blindfold off yeah. And uh, walk forward. You, you know, go. You can do that. Go inner to your inner self and shine illumination on the truth. True. Whatever it is, shine that. And do the right thing. Light. Justice is telling you. You've got you've got some major arcana cards here telling you, um, it's time to to take this block and get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Make the decision because this is what's going to bring you balance yeah. back into your month, and I think even in moving you forward. What you know about yourself this month is the Three of Pentacles, and this is fantastic. Last month, That's great. you've been building a life, yeah, a long-term, secure mm -hmm. life, and it's, it's working. It's working well. It's working. It's mm -hmm. working for you. You're doing a yeah. good job. And the Three of Pentacles is always about teamwork, too. I was going to say, it looks like a team. Yeah. Of so we think you're doing fine at work. We really do. If the Joel, if you have a Joel or a surprise mid-month as about changing jobs, it's probably just divine. So go with it. Maybe it's a changing in the position. Maybe. Changing in location. It's hard to say. It is. It could, for some of you, it's going to be probably about work. And for some of you, it's going to be more personal. and could be about a relationship. But what you know about yourself is that you're doing well. Yeah. You are. You are doing well. And you know, you work so hard and you know yeah. you know a lot of things and you work and move forward so well that no matter what this change is um, or surprise is, I think you're just going to plot along like you do very well. Yeah. You, you know, you carry your burdens mm -hmm. well. 
you just need to open up and really hear from hear from yourself and hear from God, hear from source, hear from ener the energy in the world that is speaking inside you and making you enlighten hear your soul. Listen to your soul. Okay? And then underneath the surface of everything. Wait, I missed one. I did. Forgive me. I miss what you need to know about yourself. That's what you know about yourself. You're building your life. You're working well. What you need with to your team. know about yourself. What you need to know about yourself is the uh, Knight of Swords. Okay. I think what you need to know, especially with your astrology, is not to be too impulsive. Mm -hmm. In speech, or in watch action. what you're saying and watch what you're doing. Think before you act. Think before you speak. You cannot take them back. So whatever's getting you, yeah. getting at you, bothering you, don't verbally vomit it. Uh, yeah, onto someone else. <laughs> it's perfect, right? Yeah. Don't don't do that because realize it's it's what's bothering you. They don't know about it. Meditate. Take it within and deal with it. Yeah. Don't verbally vomit on everybody else. It's time you to don't get off that this. energy out there. The law of attraction. Mm -hmm. You put that energy out there, and that's what you're going to receive back. And you've got enough stress you don't need anymore. Exactly. So don't do that. Don't put it out there. I mean, the truth is, the star is your karmic lesson for the exactly. month. Exactly. The star. This month is going to teach you to, that if you just could open up mm -hmm. to having faith and trust in divine mm -hmm. timing and divine order and know that anything that changes, anything that comes along that might jolt you, is meant to be. Mm -hmm. Meant to be. Better days are ahead. It just is. You know, you've got to go through your lessons to move forward. And if you really open yourself up that way, mind, body, and, and spirit, spirit, which is trying so hard to speak to you about yeah. what, whatever's burdening you, yeah, holding you down. But once you do that mm -hmm. and you totally get yourself in alignment, I mean, blessings exactly. abound. They, the blessings will abound. Mm -hmm. It's like a puzzle. It's like mm -hmm. puzzle pieces fitting into place, mm -hmm. you know, when you do that. So this, this guy can be a dream maker. Mm -hmm. If your spirit is telling you, hey, you, okay, you paid your taxes, love the voice, you're working hard, this is the soul man, I I'm doing my soul man voice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, today we'll be hearing from the soul man. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. And he's telling you, okay, you're working hard and you're doing your thing and you're you're going along just fine, but why am I not happy? Yeah, why am I not happy? What what's bothering me? It's like the, the, the medicine card we got this month is the rabbit. And the rabbit is kind and the rabbit is gentle, which tells me you're a kind and you're a gentle person. But the rabbit is also a fear caller. The rabbit is the one that manifests what he he or she fears. And, and you, you can't be doing that. You, yeah, exactly. Listen to your soul, and if, if you, you, you can't fear it. You can't. You're a kind and a gentle person. We think something is weighing on your conscience. Exactly. I think there's not really any other way to say it. There's something weighing on inner. your conscience. It's all inner. It really is. It's inner. It's the hermit. And we think and that you're scared of it. You for want, some reason. Yeah, you want to say the right thing or do the right thing to make a change because it's really personal and it's really deep and it's really necessary for you to get this block yeah. out of your life. So whomever or whatever it is yeah, that you need to make right, you need to make, some, you need to make it right with someone. If that's the case, make it right. Make it right. Really. It'll lift. It'll lift you to the stars. You've got yeah. the angels. You've got God on yeah. your side saying. Let's look at the oracles. Let's see yeah, what the yeah. oracles say. Um, we've got an oracle. It's, it's sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and honor your feelings. This is the second time we pulled yeah. this card. We've second done time. Aries and Taurus. And we're in Cancer. Yeah. <laughs> cancer is about emotion. Emotional truth. I, exactly. <laughs> so... You're sensitive about whatever this is. It's it's it may even be a little bit heartbreaking to you. But you know, think about it. When you see someone who faces something mm -hmm. and they're brave 
and they just come out with it and they just say whatever it is or they make the change that they need to do, what happens? People applaud the truth. People applaud bravery. People applaud it when anyone does anything to make something right. All right. So the you're truth is, okay. is if, if it's something to do with a secret or anything, and the truth always prevails. That's something you must know. The truth, the moon always shines light on shadows. Mm -hmm. Always. Because um, well, the next card we have is Pele. There you go. And she's very destructive, but she's about change. And passion. It's death and renewal. Exactly. It's saying that whatever's not right, be honest with yourself and what is your heart's true desire. Whatever the situation is, you need to be honest, be honest with, yourself. with yourself. Yeah. If you can't be honest with the situation itself, you need to be honest with yourself. Yeah. And make the decision. It. Yeah. And make the decision. Um, the last oracle card we have is reach for your dreams. Reach for your dreams. And this is your only block. Whatever this is in your life, exactly. literally, I really think that if you deal with this spiritual question, whatever's on your mind mm -hmm. and heart and soul that's bugging you, you take care of that, the star's going to bring real blessings and abundance yeah. to you because I think these energies are working for you. I mean, honestly, all month, you are needing, you're working hard at, and you're, you're going along just fine at work. You need to make your home your spa. Yeah. Seriously take that in because it's time for you to, to go home and comfort yourself to know that when you make the decision to do whatever this is, whatever truth this is that your soul is trying to deal with, whatever that is, it's blessed. Mm -hmm. You are going to be blessed for it. It's okay. It's going to be all right. It's going to be, be fine. Okay. And then you can reach for your dreams. Reach, reach for the for stars. Your dreams, reach for the stars. You've already done so much work already. I mean, we're mm -hmm. seriously proud of you, Taurus. Last month, I was blown away. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pull that out. Pull, pull that out. Just show that. Yeah. This is the underlying, yeah, the underlying energy of the energy month. Energy of the month is the magician. You have the tools to do whatever it is to clean up. Yeah. And listen. I see that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. To clean everything up and make it better and feel good. There you Again, go. you have the tools to do this. You just need to go within, go into the hermit. Yeah. Wherever he is. Yeah. And uh, listen to your soul. You have the tools. Right? You can do this. And you it's divine. It's it's karmic. It's what needs to be done. The choice needs to be made. Basically. It's true. You can yeah. you you make the choice. Whatever it is, if you if it's a secret or it's whatever it is, or just a burden, exactly that needs to be shared or let go of or let go of it. Exactly, you need to make the choice because the form your issue is taking is the Knight of Wands moving forward. Mm -hmm. So it could be that you're moving and you just don't want to face the fact that you need to move or, or, or move jobs yeah. or change a relationship or whatever it is, you do need to move forward in it. You do. And get rid of the block. Exactly. I think so too. Taurus, we just want to encourage you so much. We love you so much. You're such yeah. a wonderful and needed sign oh. on our planet. We decided because so many people say such wise things. Mm -hmm. And we love to quote people and love quotes. Quote, love quotes, period. There's wisdom in them. And the, the quote, we decided to start adding in some quotes. Yeah. So the quote that we have for you guys this month came up as, when you tolerate negativity in your life, you will get more of it. So break the cycle before it breaks you. And that was D. Rosenborough. I love that. Yeah. Or Riseborough. I, I apologize. I can't read my own writing. <laughs> That's great. So whatever's negative in your whatever's mind. negative, whatever's yeah. making you feel like this, yeah, whatever this is, when you tolerate it, all you're gonna do is bring in more of it. Law of attraction. Whatever you put out there, you're gonna bring in. So don't tolerate negativity. Recognize the pattern. Break the pattern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Shine a light on it. Absolutely. You got two full moons this month. Big changes. Big changes. Big illumination. By the 31st, when you have that second moon, you will have made that decision and you will feel better. Yeah, feel your Because the decision change. is made. 
Yeah, the work is done. So by the 31st, you're, you're going to feel a lot better. If you go inward and trust your instincts, yeah. personally and professionally, mm -hmm. and you go home and you take that time to be poo, go to your thinking, spot, your thinking spot, take it in, the knowledge, the wisdom that this, that this uh, high, you, high, the high priestess is trying to teach you and help you with, um, the hermit mode, you're going to do better at work, yeah. You're going to do better in your relationships mm -hmm. because you're do better with your family. Mid month, you're going to have to talk to people. Yeah. You're going to have to. You're going to have to deal with something, babe. Whoever you are, guy or girl, yeah. you're going to have to deal with something. So, just take it on board and 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 be justice. Yeah. Be the justice in the situation, mm -hmm. and you're going to be good. Mm -hmm. Right? Exactly. I think so too. As always, we love you guys. We do. And remember, kindness, reverence. And gratitude. Those yep. three words every day. Every day, guys. Yeah. Oh, and come visit us. We got our website up. Yeah. Selfquest.com. Mm -hmm. It's still under construction, so there's little bumps and stuff. But it's We're pretty. working on it. But yeah, yeah, come and see us. And if you need to get a personal reading, get a little more in depth to your personal, whatever you're going through, uh, email us. Email us at uh, yeah. selfquest.yahoo.com. We'll try we'll be to happy to put you on the schedule. We will. We love you guys. Thanks, Taurus. Good, Good luck. luck. Be brave. Bye. Bye.